senior in college. I can actually say that now. It's a scary notion, something I don't think I fully grasped the meaning of. It's funny because I remember graduating senior year of high school like it was yesterday. Real life is not like the movies. You don't get a fanfare for accomplishing four years of education that will ultimately help you on the long journey that they call life. You graduate high school with a sense of elation, a sense of freedom. That mixed with all the expectations and possibilities the next four years of my life could offer. It was exciting, and I was ready. So ready, in fact, that I showed up at graduation with a t-shirt. After the ceremony, me and a bunch of my buddies went to the local Chipotle for one last lunch, all the while knowing we had accomplished something big. It was a proud moment, so I guess I'll retract what I said earlier. Sometimes, real life is exactly like the movies. For a few amazing hours, or days, or even weeks, you feel like a grown-up for the first time. You are in control of your life. You are on top of the world to face whatever life has in store for you proudly with open arms. For me, it was a great feeling that lasted for the rest of the summer. I remember high school graduation like it was yesterday. All the group pictures, yearbook signings, all the promises you make to your family and friends. All the things left unsaid, the countless parties you look forward to, and all the new friends you will make that you have yet to meet. All that was cut short on the first week of college when you realize, holy shit, I actually have to do work now. But it was all fun in the end. After all, it's college, and what can you expect? After we wake up on a fake facade of college life they call freshman orientation, after you finally realize that girl you made out with at that party in that house probably wouldn't call you. After all that, you settle down, you clear your head, and you start all over on the bottom. And now we're here. Sorry, couldn't help it. And as if in a blink of an eye, you find yourself in the last year of that cycle. Only this time, you're no longer a fresh-faced 18-year-old filled with excitement. You're faced with pressure, due dates, group projects, research papers. I turned 21 two weeks ago, and it didn't actually hit me what it means to be 21 until about five hours ago when I woke up and realized that this is the last day of classes, the last day that I call myself a college junior. I began to wonder where did the time go? If I had to live up to all the expectations and possibilities, if it was the three years I wanted to live. This time, you are an adult who had a taste of what life could offer. You are surrounded by more of nostalgia, the fear for the unknown. You live through the competitions, the finals week, the dean's list, and the formals. You've been caught by campus police, had your first fireball vodka, pulled more all-nighters than you could possibly remember, who witnessed your drunken roommates bring a girl back from parties, and you have brought a girl back from parties yourself. You had your fair share of waking up on a friend's couch not remembering what happened the night before. You've been laked, sometimes not even on your birthday. You wear suits and ties to formals. You wore swim trunks to the beach because you know it'd get your female attentions. You had a campus violation and sat through a conduct hearing. You made new friends and drifted apart from some others. You wished people luck on their 12-page papers the night before it was due. You waited in the long lines of Einstein's to get the all-too-important midnight bagel. You freaked out about the lack of CLPs and sat through five hours of TEDx conference. You left during half times of a football game and studied on a Friday night because of midnight assignments. You studied abroad not because you wanted to travel, but because you wanted to get out of campus for a while. You cooked with friends, burned microwaves that the entire hall could smell. You went through the insane pledge process and had cross-bathroom conversation with friends while showering. You become someone they called boyfriend. 
I woke up way too early on Saturday mornings to tailgate. We made a difficult choice to sleep in rather than going to firmly engaged. An even more difficult choice to sign off in 8.30 classes because you have no choice. You played volleyball and realized you can play volleyball. You went to the pack and forgot to go for the next five weeks. After all that, you're finally here. The last day of class. And it starts out like any other day. You wake up and force yourself to go to the dining hall just for the cereals and omelets. You're still in zombie mode, but you're slowly waking up. You say hi to your friends, and then you head over to classes. Let me go. I don't want to be your hero. I don't want to be a big man. I just want to fight with everyone else. It doesn't actually hit you until you get out of last class. Hey, I'm done. What the hell, I'm actually done. What now? What do you do now? What is your expectation now? What are the possibilities of the future? Luckily, for most of us, we already know. And I'm going to uh, the University of South Carolina Law School. My plans after graduation are to move to Atlanta and get a job in marketing. I'm going to be moving to Salt Lake City to work as a software engineer. I'm going to Wake Forest um, in Winston-Salem to get my master's in teaching. First, I'm working at an accounting firm called PwC in Chicago, and then after that, I'm going to grad school for a year before going back to the accounting firm. I'll be involved in the AmeriCorps in New York City. I'm going to USC Law School next year. I'm going to Florida State University for, to get my master's in social work. I'm headed to Thailand. Off to China um, for a fun little experience, and then I'm going to New York and going to get a job. So. I'm planning on getting my master's in accounting. I am planning on going to University of South Florida to get my master's degree in education for college student affairs. I'm going to nursing school in Augusta, Georgia, and I'm very excited and I'm ready to move on. So now we know that this is not a time for nostalgia, it is a time to look forward but bigger and better things. How do we do that? We know the answer all along. We lived through it. It's not a small thing. Every detail, every move, every memory, the experience we have are our greatest treasure. And as this journey comes to a close, and as we move on to the next one, when we look back, we'll know there will always be something we can look back to.